Here's a live look now at the Space Needle, which has been shut down to the public since March. It's getting ready to reopen, and when it does, people will experience safety improvements they can and can't see. I got a tour of the new technology designed to keep visitors safe. Yep. You'll notice the changes as soon as you walk up to the entrance. Just scan your ticket to get through the new touchless entry gates. That was easy. Yeah, that was easy. Next, you'll go through a machine that scans your body using UVC light that zaps any viruses, including coronavirus, that might be on your clothes, bags, or skin. We have UVC, the big, big stuff that comes through the AC units to clean, clean the air, and then we have the far UVC down lights that are constantly cleaning the air. So it's fresh air that's clean. Even the elevator, even though it's outside, <laughs> is treated with ultraviolet light. Welcome to Seattle's world famous Space Needle. Just a friendly reminder that under Washington State law, you are required to keep your mask on inside the elevator and refrain from talking until we reach our destination. Masks are required, and there's no talking allowed, keeping you extra safe during your 41 second ride to the top. It's touch free environments. Even our interactives now are just a broadcast mode. Um, you can go through the experience. Everything is one way, so it's a, luckily it's a circle. So everything is just clockwise. The Space Needle has invested more than a million dollars in state-of-the-art technology. This is an electrostatic disinfecting device. That disinfects the air and surfaces. That includes these three cleaning robots. These are designed to go into a, like, like an elevator, an enclosed space, and disinfect like a hospital room, mm -hmm. okay? It uh, takes care of air and surface. The Space Needle CEO says with all the improvements, this might be one of the safest places in Seattle. We built the system that we feel like is about as safe as you could, you could make any environment. A breathtaking and safe place for people to get away and take in the 360 degree views above the city. You know, we did a renovation only less than two years ago. And I think people haven't seen the glass floor or this full you know, kind of outer glass area or our sky risers or glass benches. I think locals or kind of drive to market really haven't seen the new Space Needle. And what's a trip to the iconic tourist attraction without a memento to take home with you? All right, I'm one, two, three. The Space Needle is excited to welcome back employees and visitors, but at this point, it doesn't have a reopening date scheduled.